My name is Marco and this is Tunes I Dig, where I talk about tunes I dig. And today's tune is Thrill by Future Islands. Okay, so Thrill is the 11th track on their new album, which just came out a couple months ago. The title of the album is As Long As You Are. It is a fantastic album. I do enjoy it from front to back. And if you are just getting to know me, I don't like very many albums front to back. So uh, sometimes I go, I, I don't really have anything to say about the song. There's, I, I don't have anything to add. So, and sometimes I go on for a long time. So you know what? Enough of me yapping. Let's get right to it. This is Thrill by Future Islands. What a powerful beginning. Rising 
Welcome back, guys. That's, that is such a beautiful song. Right from the get-go, just the opening notes sets the tone. It never gets tiresome, right? Because it, that, that tone is kind of constant throughout. There's just a few moments where it breaks, but it breaks at the perfect time, comebacks in at the perfect time. And um, th this band is just so good at, like, I, I always, for some reason, I, I think of my family tree when I listen to Future Islands a lot. And, and I know that they touch on that sort of topic a lot. But I just think, you know, how I got here. And I think of, you know, I think I obviously like my parents, but I know I go even further back. I think of my, my great grandparents that I, I never met, but I, it just, I don't know. I just, mm. I, I went to, uh, I went to Sicily in 2015. I went to the house where my dad was born and raised in and I, house. I, I say that I use that term loosely. It's actually just a hole in the wall. And I'm just going to kind of give you the Coles notes version. I, I happened this town. There's no one in this town. It's very desolate. And I happened upon the woman that now owns it. She had just been there sitting there on a stoop. It was crazy. And I got to go inside and I got to look around and I took photos and I took video and I showed my grandmother when I got back and she recognized the tiles. So it really puts me into that kind of mode when, when I listen to future islands, but I have some notes here. It's about the isolation and fear we feel in our homes, in our society. It's about sadness rising and spilling over our anger, spilling over like the great tar river. I'll get that to that in just a moment. It's about the things we don't talk about beauty destroyed and left to crawl home. The beauty like the tar river that just keeps chugging along. So two things I want to say here. Uh, just so you know, the Tar River. The Tar River is a river that cuts in from North Carolina. It, it cuts into the state. It's, it's long and narrow. But that's the other thing I want to talk about with Future Islands. They just, like, they just really make, they get me really introspective, but they get me thinking about just life. Like, what is life? Like, what, what, what the, you know, like, the beauty of it, right? And, and just being a nice person and just appreciating and, and just being kind to your fellow brother and sister because life is short and, and it is short. That's, that's not a, uh, I, I always hate mentioning my age and like whatever, but like whatever. I'm in my, I'm in my uh, mid thirties and I guess when you get to your mid thirties, you, now you have context of time. Like you can see to the future and you can see to the, to, and you have a, a considerable past, but in your twenties, at least for me, I, I'll speak for myself. It time felt limitless, but now that I'm in my mid thirties, it's like, and, and you know, you hear things like people pass away. Suddenly I, I actually had a close friend of mine pass away, uh, last week a huge member of the YouTube community and it just goes to show you that life is short life is fragile and you really you ought to be kind to your fellow brothers and sisters anyway that's it that's all I want to uh... and nothing uh, particularly that stands out lyrically the longest lines in the song are only five words long but most are two to three words so it doesn't offer much in terms of solid imagery except for old silver now I don't know the correct, I don't know if this is correct, but old silver to me sounds like an old automobile. So it made me think of, for some reason, an old childhood friend of mine, his name is Joey, and his grandfather who's no longer here, but his grandfather would pick us up at school and he just had that classic, the, what's it called? The punch buggy cars with the wooden panel and they would, they would drop me off at home for some reason, it just made me think of that old silver, his old jalopy, you know? So moving on, I feel like the blue water is a white poetic fib. Yeah, so, so there are poetic devices and there are poetic fibs. And sometimes you write lyrics that aren't necessarily true, but it fits the scheme. I might be wrong, maybe, maybe it's not. But because the Tar River is not blue, if you Googled it, you would see it looks like tar. That's why it's called the Tar River. It's black and brown. So yeah, so I'm not really sure what the Blue River is. Maybe it's like a juxtaposition to the, the Tar River, right? Blue and black, perhaps, I'm not, I'm not too sure. Not that there is a problem with uh, poetic white fibs, but 
Um, I just think I, that was just something that, that uh, piqued my interest. Like he wrote blue water, but um, the Tar River is not blue. So yeah. All right, guys, that's it. Thank you for joining me. And I hope you enjoyed the song. Leave a comment below. Tell me how you feel about the song. And if you want to like, do that. And you want to subscribe, do that too. But that's cool. I'll see you guys next time.